Shalom, shalom. Where the real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out, prophesying the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praise is honor and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, Great Millstone. This is actually just a little continuation um, of what I uh, started earlier today. It's got to be something better than this. This is, It's got to be something better than this part two. Um, um, because I was driving and just thinking and meditating this morning and, you know, you wake up in the morning vexed. And I woke up this morning vexed, you know, I had a little bitty sleep because Sunday I have one day off a week and my little funky one day off, I decided to go out with my lady and one of my, my friends, one of my guys, and uh, uh, went out, spent a couple of dollars and then like, damn, you know, spent this, I got to go back to go, I need that money back, you know, it's like, well, damn, I, it's really messed up that we... You know, we you know, you know, Micah two and ten says this is not our rest, but the Most High says an uh, unjust weight is an, uh, an abomination to him. So, even the Most High will have us to be in balance. And you, you, you work, 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 work. You gotta have at least a day to, you know, lay, let your hair down, a day to go out to the movies, a day you might want to go to the mall, a day to go shop, a day to go out and get something nice to eat at a nice restaurant, better than a shitty restaurant. You know, because you go to a shitty fast food restaurant, you're going to get shitty food. You know, and if you want to go uh, to get real food, they're going to charge you for real food. All right. And I was just lamenting, like, man, I got to really do all this. You know, and I, it, it took me back to how there's got to be something better than this. It's got to be something better than this. And this was in the world, you know. And when you come into the truth, you understand why it's got to be something better than this, because there is absolutely something better than this. And it's the biggest kept, big, biggest kept secret that Esau, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, he doesn't want so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians to know, and the confusion of faces to know, all right, that's scattered abroad the multi-nations of this planet, that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans and certain people scattered through the other nations are the actual literal biblical israelites by blood all right and if you don't think if you're really cool with this place it's the trick move by the lord if you're cool here in america if you're cool in london if you're cool in scotland if you're cool in hawaii if you're cool in uh uh you know kasmanistan i don't care uh, iraq iran Venezuela, Argentina, Puerto Rico, I don't give a damn on the planet. Wherever Israelite is, because we're scattered abroad, according to James 1 and 1 and uh, 1 Peter 1 and 1, to the Israelites scattered abroad. All right? The script, we're, we're scattered in every single region on the planet. Deuteronomy 30 and, 30, 30 and 3 says the Lord has scattered us and he's going to gather us from all the places that we've been scattered abroad. All right? So if the Most High says that uh, that He's going to scatter us from every place, it means we're all over the place. And no matter where we are, if we're cool with those societies, if we're happy and not worried and, and, and not uh, cognizant of the Lord and this wickedness in this world today, that's the reason why the Lord got you in those places, because you sold out to those places. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Um, this is Jeremiah. Um, it's, one of, it's one of my favorite scriptures to cringe at, you know, um, because it makes me sad when I read the scripture. That's why a lot of people think the Bible's all love, love, love. No, there's a lot of sad things in the Bible, too. That's going to make you upset. And it's designed to make you upset because we went off, right? And when we, we, uh, when we were disobedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we were not thinking that we were going to have to be, we were going to have to pay for it down the line this is uh jeremiah 5 and 18. nevertheless in those days saith the lord i will not make a fool in with you it shall come to pass when ye shall say wherefore doeth the lord our god all these things unto us there's got to be something better than this why is the lord jacking up black man why is the lord jacking up the latino man native american indian man why are we living on a pretty ass funk ass reservation and and uh they got they took over everything why are we living in the projects? Why are we living in the ghetto? Why are we living in the barrio? Why are we living in the, uh, the flavela? All right? 
Why we live in the goddamn and, and the ghettos and the and the and the shitty parts of the planet? All right. And I'm talking about us collectively as a majority of so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indian. Majority of us are poor. The average median weight, uh, wealth of a so-called Negro, all right, a so-called black man, all right, um, is uh, $35,000. So-called African Americans, as they say, which is a fucking byword, is a, uh, is a diss, all right, um, they make, uh, like I said, uh, $35,000 a year. That's not living. <laughs> Out of all the races, we make the least. That's fucked up, man. And they, they give you your token Michael Jordan and Oprah Sin Freely and all the rest of these damn, damn bastards. They making billions and millions as if that, oh, we, we have the chance to do it too. No, bitch, you only let certain niggas who coom to the stream, you give them a couple of nuggets. But then you again still demonize and fuck their ass up, Bill Cosby, you know? Because Esau is not gonna let you succeed in this world. If you don't play his game all the way into the end, he will cut you off. <laughs> and even if you do play his game, he still might cut you off. Just let him want your shit. Let him want, let him want your catalog that you went and bought, like Michael Jackson bought the Beatles catalog. They, there was a hit on Michael from that point on, let alone all the, uh, him saying, you know, all the other shit that he said, you know, um, you know, ex exposing, you know, the white man, all right? But, you know, you're not gonna name me how, why you have a shot, you're wicked and the most high gonna kill you, all right? But he said, it should come to pass when you shall say, wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us, then thou shalt answer him, like as ye have forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land, so shall you serve strangers in a land that is not yours. So the Lord said, no, you, you were disobedient and served uh, false gods and idols and other things in your land. So now go to your idols. And the Lord even said that. He says, go to the, the, the gods that you, you know, uh, you were serving and those strange people and see if they, if they shall save you in scripture, All right? That shit is uh that shit is wicked, man. So now we're stuck in these different lands under different people, and what are they doing? They're killing us, they're beating us, they're raping us, they're robbing us, they're miseducating us, all right, and they're profiting on our hard ass labor. We are still the slave labor of the planet. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians. Don't let me start about Issachar, all right. They, they treat Issachar, uh, when it comes down to work and pay, they're the hardest workers, they pay them the least. It's like the harder they work, the least they pay them. All right? And th th this is cool, this is living, this is life. You know? Issachar gotta come sneak to come into America. Come to America, work the shittiest ass job. Then take the bulk of their money and send it back home to take care of their family. And they do this religiously, faithfully. And this is living? This is not living. This is slavery, man. This is hell. It's got to be something better than this. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, come to me, all ye that are, are burdened and heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Is This is not the rest that he's talking about. It's something better than this. This shit sucks. If it doesn't suck for you, you're on the wrong team either by blood or by wickedness, man. Man, this place fucking sucks, man. And the best you can get is, uh, oh yeah, I spent some disparities in March. This one lady was saying earlier that, yes, yeah, minorities have been marginalized a lot and what, but bitch, you don't know shit. Marginalize my ass, we've been destroyed. We've been decimated. We've been obliterated. We've been abominated. Abominated and abominated. <laughs> you had to fucking laugh to keep from fucking crying, man. But, I, and I, I, I brought out the scripture earlier. It's got to be something better than this. Um, the Lord said, I have not seen and ears have not heard. And I'm going to pull that back out again because I want to go revisit it. And uh, let me pull it back out. 
Salakia. Uh, KJV uh, scripture, eyes have not seen, ear have not heard. Uh, I, uh, I, I quoted the one in Corinthians last time. This time I'm going to quote Isaiah 64. All right. Um, because you you have to know that God has a better plan for the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian. And it's nothing to do with continuation here in America. All right. Uh, I want the King James Version, please. Not all these other thousands of versions. Come on, y'all. And then they got the King James Version all the way at the bottom. Come on, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, Isaiah 64 and 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have I seen, O power, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. The Lord says, I, uh, men have not heard. You ask a so-called Negro, you ask a so-called Latino, so-called Native American Indian, you sit there and you ask them, hey, have you heard about this? Have you heard? It's like I had to make a quick adjustment. Um, uh, let's see. That's right, brother. That's a good, that'll be a good lesson. You gotta lose to win. That's right. That's actually scripture. I count everything but dung. I count everything lost. Everything but dung, but boo boo for, for the kingdom, for Hamashiach. All right? Because it gotta be some matter of fact, that's man, I gotta get that scripture. That's perfect right now. All right? Because we have not seen, we have not heard of the gloriousness of the of the kingdom. You ask a regular Jake, uh 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 uh, you know about you know how they like you know how they like america or they like Chicago. oh i love it oh man i love it i'm about to go do this i'm about to go do that i'm about to do, 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 do. and it cool here and it's like how you cool fool and then they at the same time they cool they sign and crying yeah i gotta go back to work man boss man was about to bam, about to bam, about to bam. but i love this place look at that it's like y'all dumb man all right um KJV scripture, I count everything but dung. Um, Philippians 3, verse 8. Yea, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung. That I may win Hamashiach. If you win um, the Messiah Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior, you win the kingdom. So he said, I count everything down here, but dung, but boo boo. Dung is uh, is uh, is uh, is is uh, waste, bodily waste. Dm. All right. Bowel movements. All right. That's boo boo. That's dung. That's shit. All right turds however you want to call it poo <laughs> right all right he said i count everything what down here in this world man this world ain't shit all right well let me rephrase that the world is a piece of shit right now and the lord has to clean it all right he has to clean it with the besom of destruction all right and the most high is about to destroy this place man for all the wickedness that's done out here, man. And he got something greater, something better, that you can't even conceive. No spiritual power, angelic power, women, money, cars, the clothes, the holes. We got chariots, man. Screw a fancy car. We got chariots we can look forward to. Chariots of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Out of space. Galaxies. All right? But more importantly than that, we have the law, statute, and commandments going to be written inside our minds where we cannot displease the Father no more and we can't go off and be wicked no more. I want that. I want to be able to always please my Father. I want to be always in good standing with my Father. I want to always 
be able to see him face to face. I want to be able to come in his courts like King David said and inquire at his mouth. I want to see real fruit. I want to see a real orange that's about the size of a goddamn, you know, uh, 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 double the size of a grapefruit. It took two men to carry a bushel of grape, grapes in the ancient world. So think how weak and wimpy these fruits and vegetables are, let alone the, 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 the destruction of, of Monsanto and uh, genetically modifying the organisms and, and uh, we have seedless, this seedless, that Frankenstein, Franken food. I want to actually pop a version, all right? I've done, and I hate to say it, but I've had relations with hundreds of bitches and not none of them was a virgin. None, zero, zilch, zilch, all right? None. None, I, I'm ashamed by that, you know? Because technically I popped a hundred different other men's women. You know, that's why Yahweh Shai calls this an adulterous generation. It's got to be something better than that. And according to the law, the priest didn't supposed to get with nobody but a virgin. It was unlawful. So who the fuck are we if the Lord says we are his priest, a nation of priests, a royal priesthood, and I ain't even been with a virgin. Oh, every woman I've ever lain with has already been popped. Used goods. It's got to be something better than this. All right. Let me get back to those couple of scriptures I had put to the side. You know, as I was meditating on the tape on this, I had to put, you know, just quote these scriptures and put them in there and then I can just easily recall and pull them up. Um, this is another good one. We, we have to understand this is not our kingdom. This is, this is not our rest. All right. That's why it's got to be something better than this. It has to be. Otherwise, the Lord is a liar. And the Most High is not a man that he should lie. All right? KJV, my thoughts are not your thoughts. All right? This is Isaiah 58, 55, 8, 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So while you got so-called Negro, Latino, Native American over here, uh, I'm hunkering down for the American dream, I mean, the American scheme, all right? And you, you're so foolish. If you fall for the American dream, I'm trying to go for my American dream. Nigga, what, what are you doing when you're dreaming? You're sleeping. What are the most I like and sleep to? Dead, man. He that wandereth out the way of the uh, understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, the congregation of the sleep, man. The filthy dreamers, man. In Jeremiah 23, that dream dreams. Uh, 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 Martin, the Mar Martin Lucifer Coon, um, uh, 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 I dream, I dream, I had a dream today. You know, listen to that fucking wicked ass dead philosophy because you're dreaming, you're asleep. And if that's my dream, God damn it, that's my nightmare. And I'm living in it. Lord, please wake me up. And he did. And I asked him for that. I begged him and, and I cried for it. And that's because the Lord put the spirit in me to do that. And he gave it to me. And I, I, that's why when you come with knowledge of this truth, you, can't, you, you better not lose it. You better not forsake it. You better not play with it. You better take it seriously. Take it to heart. And you better to grow and nurture this gift that the Most High has given you. That's why the Lord says, occupy till I come. The only job I don't mind working 24-7 and being 100% on call is Yahweh Bashimi Shai. I get pleasure doing the work. Sometimes too much pleasure. <laughs> Shit. Because then they got to get done and get back into reality of the madness. And this shit sucks, man. Makes you can't. I can't wait to the next sit down. I can't wait to the next camp. I can't wait to the next live show. I can't wait to the next fellowship. 
because every every time we dealing with the brotherhood it's a glimpse a sliver of the kingdom and then being in, in tune with the spirit gives you the the spirit of the most high and it being one in the body of the lord and the spirit it's it's, it's 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 better than any drug that man can ever come up with or any natural made um uh, you know uh euphoric feelings you can get from sex to to uh high from alcohol weed uh, uh i don't care heroin crack ain't shit uh, compared to the the spirit being in the spirit of yahweh yahweh shy and feeling his holy spirit and then the brotherhood has that spirit and you feel it within them ain't nobody ain't nothing on this planet nothing nothing close to that feeling man at all zero zilch that's why we pray you how why how shy give us the salvation and deliverance man because a righteous man of the lord wants to be filled filled with the spirit all day 24 7. all right they don't want to get out of it and when they get out of it they get out of it because they got to because they got to go to work and sometimes at work they can't you know they can't go too hard because they go too hard you know they'll get fired <laughs> all right I'm, 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 I hope I'm not all over the place. I'm just, you know, I'm mad, man. Because it's got to be something better than this. All right? This is, um, matter of fact, I, lo I love this one. This is, um, let me pull it up. KJV scripture, I go to prepare a place for you. All right, this is John 14 and 3. All right? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. All right? Yahweh Shai says, I go to, uh, that's one account, is another, is, a, is actually a couple uh, accounts of, um, yeah, I'm, let me go up a verse. John 14 and 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And then he said, and if I go, and you know, and the scripture we just read. So the Lord says, I go to prepare a place for you. All right. That that place that the Lord is preparing is not this hell that we're in right now. It's got to be something better than this. How great is that place? Well, just read your scriptures. Go ahead and read Revelations, the last few chapters. Read Ezekiel, the last few chapters. It describes that place as far as the, the richness of the walls being um, jasper and, 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 and emeralds and, and uh, onyx and, and, you know, all these precious stones, sapphire, all right? Ru rubies, diamonds, pearls, you know? That's what the Lord has promised to us. How's the Lord promised us all these things, and we're sitting up here, uh, you know, looking forward to Chicago, Illinois, looking to Vegas. Oh, I love Vegas. Oh my God, <laughs> living, living, looking forward to oppression, loving oppression, loving hardship, love, loving being the off scouring of the world, loving being the byword. Right, and the scripture says it. The wicked, they love to have it so. All right, and um, Reb, uh, Romans is that they have pleasure in in them that do it. They they have pleasure in this place. Speak not unto me smooth things. I mean, um, good things. Prophesy lies. Give me give me smooth things. Prophesy lies. Prophesy deceits. They want the nastiness. They they want the wretchedness. And that's because they're wicked and they're following their wicked father. John eight forty four. You you were of your father the devil. He was a liar from the beginning, a murderer from the beginning, and you just like him. And what you're doing is causing the same murder, death, kill to your own people. You got to hate this place, man. You have to want to get out of this place, man. You got to want and desire a better kingdom than this. All right? Because he, uh, he says, matter of fact, let me get it. It's easier for me to do it this way so I don't have to do too much KJV scripture here we have no continuing city all 
All right, this is Hebrews 13 and 14. Matter of fact, I want to go, I actually want to go, I hate when they do this because they this app. I'll pull it up in my other app, Hebrews 13 and 14, because I want to go to a couple of scriptures around it. And I got to do a different page it's just for one verse, you dumbass. Hate Esau. Esau is stupid. He's foolish. Um, all right. Um, Let's see, uh, let's see, uh, Hebrews 13, well, I, I'll go to the point, uh, for here, talking about no matter where you are, here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, all right, there's got to be something better than this, here we have no continuing city. All right, here we don't have our own land. All right, when you open the door, you see land and trees everywhere. You know, you'll be able to say, oh, hello, Barbar. All right, <laughs> like, like Eddie Murphy did in Coming to America, you know, and, and, and uh, having the, the heathens at your feet, you know, having your wives, your children, all right, not having to pay taxes. Yahweh Shai said, then are the children free. Then, but well, are we free? No, we paying all kind of taxes, hellified taxes, man. We tax from the rooter to the tutor. All right. Constantly looking over our shoulder, constantly, uh, you know, behind in bills, robbing Peter to pay Paul, the next and Paul to kind of get some of that money back so I can go pay Peter back. And then say, you know what? Let me get John up in this. Hey, John, let me let me holler at you, brother. I'm been I'm uptight, bro. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we are in dire straits right now. Matter of fact, let me get that. I mean, that's Revelations right there. This is what the Mosai says. KJV, poor, miserable, naked. Revelations 3, 17. Um, because thou sayest I am rich. That's what niggas say here in America. You know, my and this is, a, this is, a, this is man, you wicked. They made a move, so I destroy your ass for cutting me off like that. I'm driving. This is trafficking, trafficking wicked ass nigga. Uh, thirsty to go nowhere. It's a traffic fucking jam. What the fuck? And he just came to swoop there real quick, man. That's how wicked they are, man. Um, but literally, my cousin, uh, me and Yaki, we trip about this. Is at this day. Um, he was like, yeah, my girl work at a bank. You know how many rich niggas would be in the hood? She got $50,000 in her bank account. 50 G's, nigga. F is $50,000 is some money. Floyd Mayweather in one of his flaunting videos said, you know, I'm sick and tired of everybody always, you know, putting Floyd doing this, Floyd doing that, what I'm doing. I got to watch for every single different day of the day. And since yesterday, because y'all talking shit, I'm going to take these 50 stacks and I'm just going to flake it off today. Now, <laughs> You know, and he took out 50 G's in two stacks and he said, I'm going to go spend it on some bullshit. Just because. But that's his consolation. The scripture says, woe to you that are rich. So uh, you have received your consolation. But uh, $50,000 is not even a rich man's uh, pocket change. $50,000 is, uh, uh, is a pennies. It's not even pennies, man. It's nothing. A rich man, you think the Rothschilds who are quadrillionaires, you think they give a fuck about 50 G's? You think trillionaires care about 50 G's? You think a billionaire cares about 50 G's? You think a millionaire cares about 50 G's? Hell no! Shit, that's that woman, life ass savings. That's all the money she got. And she probably retired off of that, living off of that shit. That shit is ridiculous, man. But that's how simple Jake is. I'm rich. I'm. I got this. I got that. I were. I just got it. I heard. I was dropping off this young, beautiful lady, uh, the the uh, a couple weeks ago downtown, and she was like, uh, on the phone. You can't hear help but hear the conversation, and she's like, oh girl, I got this job. I'm, you know, I'm with such and such. I wake sixty five thousand. Watch the watch the bam. Watch the bam. She thinks she living it, living it up, doing it good, cause she got making sixty five thousand dollars a year. Do you know that ain't shit? That's nothing. And once that job is done, 
you uh, and in one stage shut the system down within one to two weeks you're gonna be in a poor house just like any other nigga that's a false sense of security all right because thou sayest I am rich and am increased with goods all right you got you we can go take a trip right now to the out Yale gardens which is a project here in uh, Chicago and I will find and now it's the projects they pay maybe two three hundred dollars for rent for a month and they live in the hood with a whole bunch of hood ass niggas who do a whole bunch of hood ass niggas shit but in the parking lot you'll find a Jaguar a, a Cadillac Escalade or big cars with big ass you know 26 30 something inch rims and spinners on it and you know uh, all these you know you know big 75 inch um, TVs and two or three of them you know a 75 a 45 in the bathroom you know what I'm saying and all the you know good good goods shit that's to perish that's gonna be destroyed that's gonna be a grain of sand because what you walking in America is is actually you walking on on the beach one big desert all right it's one big desert we're walking on and this is nothing but sand and it's going to be reduced to it very soon let's say if you how why how was shy man but right now people are rejoicing in this sand because it looks like a kingdom with you know a whole bunch of amenities and a big ass playground all right but verse 17 because thou sayest i am rich and am increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked thus saith the lord man that's why it's got to be something better than this it's got to be all right set your affections on things above and not on things of this earth because these things are going to pass away like a leaf like a vapor all right man i tell you right now people better wake up because they don't wake up right now the most high is going to destroy them all right i'm going to i got a couple more scriptures and i'm going to end it plus i gotta go get gas and i'm um shit we go i'm gonna be stuck on this expressway in four miles if i don't go get gas so uh um, but i also thought about the scriptures um the shy said they're not going to hurt in my holy mountain all right the, the the kid is going to be playing next to the the whole of an ass uh uh the lions and tigers and bears will be playing with each other all right we'll have streets of gold that's better than this that's the promise so what do you want streets of gold or you want potholes Streets of gold or streets of holes. <laughs> and trust me, I just drove over one earlier and I actually saw those still rock metal beams of the highway and drove over it just because it's that big of a hole. <coughs> you know, this is, we, we don't call them potholes in Chicago, we call them craters. They're craters, man. They're big, big, dumb. They'll tear your whole axle, fuck your whole car up, man. All right? Yeah, they, they don't know what they're doing. They're driving in the middle of two lanes and they're about to get hit by this, by this truck. They're stupid, man. I'm serious. And, and he's blowing at them and they're still not moving over. And he, he just, he, oh my God, people are dumb. People are sheep, for real. That's what Esau banks on it. He knows that you people are retarded. Y'all have all kind of syndromes. Oh my God. Yahweh uh, Bashim Yahweh Shai also said, uh, Behold, I will work a work in your days that, that you won't believe that will be told to you. That's the whole work. From the slavery to the, the defeat uh, through to, uh, to uh, uh, man, the deliverance to the kingdom. You know, that's the whole nine. It's got to be a work so great that the Lord says, Hey, you ain't gonna even believe though, I tell you, it's that great. It's going, hey, it's gonna be amazing. All right? And if the Lord says it's gonna be amazing, guess what? It's going to be amazing. <laughs> as simple as that. And he said, you're gonna marvel because we're gonna marvel at the strangest of our salvation, we're gonna marvel at. But I'm ready for it because I'm sick and tired of this place. All right? And in Apocrypha, in Second Edges, it says, um, how can you get to the wide? He said, the kingdom is set in such a place 
where you have uh, it's like water and fire on either side and a road very narrow road to go to get to the the wide you had to go through a very narrow road he said in order to get to the kingdom you have to go through it all right it's got right now we've been through nothing but narrow we're still in the narrow how we're not slaves man a slave is someone that's taken from their own land and forced to work with you all right that's what we're in we're in a, in a land that's not ours forced to work for other people in order just to survive Oh, I work for myself. All your shit and products come from somebody else. All your shit come from somebody else. And you pay taxes and you pay tribute and you're paying somebody something. So if you was if you were if you were truly free, you wouldn't be paying no damn taxes. Alright. He sounds so far. Ugh. This place sucks, man. That's the reason why we we we're 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 holding we're holding out for something better than this. We are hoping out for something way better than this. Because this ain't living. This is not living in the least, man. One mile before I was empty. <laughs> um, it also makes me think of the scripture. Uh, uh, we're on a pilgrimage. Uh, because, uh, matter of fact, let me get that one. Because I stopped now. And I'll end on that scripture. All right, because I can go all day with this. There's so many scriptures that prophesy about the kingdom and how great it is. And uh, wow, I have 14 people on watching right now with 14 thumbs up for 144. Hallelujah. That's a good number to look up and see it when you look at the live shows. It's just Um Let's see. Um, I'm going to put in the pilgrim. Pull it up fast. All right. Um, Hebrews 11. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 11. We're going to end on Hebrews 11, 13. Um, man, the 15th person, you just, uh, and they got a like from them too. They just messed it all up. I'm just teasing. Uh, <laughs> um, these all died in faith, not having received the promises. Why haven't they received the promises? Because it was yet to promise to come. This is not our kingdom. It's something better than this. All right. And that's the hope and faith that we have. All right. But having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth who they confessed it to their brothers and sisters they confessed it to the their their people and they confessed it to the heathens just in case there's some brothers and sisters among them and to warn them of the impending doom coming for fucking with us you know you done fucked up right you know you fucked up esau so-called white man you know you done fucked up arab uh, Ishmaelite you know you done fucked up Hamite you so called African men you know you done fucked up Moabite you Chinese men you know you done fucked up you Ammonite you Japanese men all you damn nations you done fucked up you touched the apple of his eye and Most High is going to come get you for it alright but it says uh, that they confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a better country and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out they might have had opportunity to have returned but now they desire a better country it's got to be something better than this a better country that in, that is an heavenly wherefore god is not ashamed to be called their power for they, for he that prepared for them, uh, for he has prepared for them a city. And that's what we're fighting for. That better country, that heavenly country, that better city, that better life. Because this down here is full of shit. It's like uh, the Matrix. Uh, he said, it stinks to stench. I, I hate it. It stinks. Well, that's how we feel about America. All right. So with that, we're going to say all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaq Kadash. Double honors to the apostles out in York, Great Millstone, and GMS. Honors to all the, the rightful hopeful elect doing the work in truth and 